Hello everybody, I hope you're well. We're gonna do a half an hour um, yoga here. So I'm just gonna try to do a lot of poses that affects our hips and seated poses and some bridges and the shoulder stance today. So I want you to be comfortable on the floor because not all of us can be so comfortable sitting down. So you get your blocks, your cushions. If you've got knee issues, you can get a blanket. Let me get mine actually. So you can fold the blanket under the knees and then that can feel you a little bit more comfort so that if you need it. So I want to start here on the seated position onto my balls of the feet. So some of you cannot do this very well. Again, I always mention the cushion under here. You can even cushion under here so you can get comfortable like this. I might actually stay like this because it's quite nice. So you can go legs a bit apart or find my heels. And I'm sitting upright like this, so breathing in and breathing out. Full yogic breaths here, just sitting onto the heels as much as you can. If you are uncomfortable, you can change position and just go on the floor like this with the hands. That takes pressure of the heels and when you're ready, you can come back up again and put a little bit more pressure to the balls of your feet and the heels. So as you're breathing, you find the lower part of the belly and up, all the way to the top of the shoulders. And as you exhale, you pull the belly and deflate the chest and the shoulders down. Let's just take our minds into our breath and so you can arrive at your practice today. So close your eyes, elongate your breath and exhale. Squeezing the belly, squeezing the lungs, relaxing the neck and the shoulders. And remember, there is a pose after inhalation, a pose after exhalation. Just become aware of this. So inhaling. We have a pose. Exhaling. And there's a little pose here too. And just do this a couple more times. If, if you start paying attention to little detail, you'll find your mind will calm, your body will relax. Your facial muscles will relax. And you'll just become more present and more in tune with your own bodies. And check to see what you need to do. If there's any part of your body you need to help extra, please do take the options. Do not force beyond your ability, especially in the joints. One last breath here. And exhale. Hopefully that kind of calmed you down a bit. So I want you to think about the enjoy your breath all the way through. Now go to my front of the feet. I'm just going to go circle my arm to the side. Taking one arm. And there we go. Inhale. Palm faces in towards the body. As you turn, you exhale and push the palm away from the body. My opposite arm is going aside. And I'm twisting. Inhale. And exhale. If you're not very comfortable here, you can always find a block under your hips also that can help you. So you can open the legs and sit in this position like that. So this can be easier, even a cushion between the legs like that. It could be much easier for you. All right. One more this way. And then we're going to go on the other side. So you're going to inhale up and exhale, twist and inhale. If you start breathing deeply, you can start warming up so much quicker. So you make sure, because I'm talking, I'm not uh, always with the breath. You can breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. And a couple more times, and one more time here. Nice one. And I'm going to go this, the hips up on the other side. Can you see? And then come back and lift on the other side here. So I'll kind of... Do the same thing and backwards. Exhale. Inhale. So instead of turning back, I turn forwards with the opposite arm. Exhale. Keep using your bow so you're clenching and opening the back. So you can find the front of your legs. And try to turn your neck and look behind you also. Cushioning the knees is a good idea here, especially if you've got very thin mats. Two more. 
and one more and then you come back and then I'm just gonna get you onto your feet here so you go onto the feet just make it comfortable so what you can do is taking the blanket under the heels then you can just sit onto the blanket like this just go one side other side you see how I'm getting into it so I'm so used to being here so I can just mess around a bit more than you maybe use your hands on the floor if it's too much for you if your knees are hurting the option will be just going against the wall with the legs so I'll just show you so if you got knee issues you could be here and then you press and you go closer to the wall and you can like really open the legs that way all right it's the same thing keep breathing keep trying your best <sighs> nice then we're just gonna go onto the knees here again your blanket can be underneath the knees so you're not going to feel too much pressure so hands under the shoulders and then we're still warming up here tuck the elbows in inhale raise the spine exhale down and inhale and lift up chin up 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 look towards the ceiling pull the chin forwards and exhale and inhale exhale Inhale. And exhale. You need to find your own breath. You might be doing a little shorter breaths than me. It's okay. Just keep pressing the arms, arching the spine, look between your legs. And you look to the ceiling. One more. now i'm just gonna go opposite arm opposite leg so i lean on my right arm first with the left arm so i'm kind of feeling that uh, my core is already activating over my arm so i'm not feeling my bum back from here i'm gonna take my right leg back and stretch good now bring the elbow to the knee and then inhale up and exhale in inhale and up and exhale Inhale. One more here. And then we can come and change other side using the left arm. Press onto the left arm, lean over it, and then lift the right arm. Then we need to get the left leg away. So you cut total balance here. And exhale. And inhale. It started snowing behind me. I hope you can see that. And inhale. I feel like I'm in a snow bowl. This is amazing. And exhale. And exhale. One more time. And then anyway, you relax. Like, good. So if you have blocks, you can use the block for the next one. If you don't have it, the floor is fine. You just have to get more comfortable. So for purposes of showing you, I'm going to go two blocks here so you can see exactly what happens. So you got the bum up. And you're relaxing the head between your arm and you're trying to pull the palms behind you. So we're all different. So we might not be here. You might find this, this is too difficult. You can still do this on the floor like that. Yeah, this is easier in a way, but we're all different. This might be harder than this blocks. So I'm going to just get myself comfortable here like this. And pull the palms together, keep the tailbone high. I want you to find those shoulder muscles and really sit into them. Finding your core, relaxing your neck. As far as you can take it, you might not be so going to the floor if you're using the blocks, it's okay. Just do that spinal breath I was talking to you about. Push the palms, relax your neck and your shoulders. Feeling the spine on the left. If you're very lucky with moving the spine like this, it's gonna get your spine aligned and cracking and you'll just get to feel such a big release, hopefully. Keep engaging the stomach here so you don't hurt your lower back here. Come up, just make sure you pull one arm and then the other arm and then you can sit back so it was quite intense stretch for me so i'm going to just rotate my shoulders up and over 
And again, if you're going with massage, you can kneel. Just go all the way up and up again. Another way around. Breathe. Nice. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Check to see that everything is fine there. You can turn your neck one way and the other way. Beautiful. Let me come back in. Then we are going back to that uh, box root pose. This time the tiger pose is going to go with a bent knee and then arching the spine like we did in the cat and the cat. So you're just going to lean onto your right arm. You stretch the left arm away and bring the right leg back. This time you bend the right knee and look up. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. If you can't do this with one arm on it, you can keep the hand down just to relax inside. So this could be an easier option. So you get more extension to the chest and the neck. Now, if you think you can bend the arm, try to bend the arm. It's really, really hard here. It's tight. One more time. And exhale. Now, if you can bend the arm all the way over and grab the leg, just pull the belly in and open. So you've got the core work here. You're trying to get the hips to open. You can turn your body towards the left a little and find your balance. If it's too difficult, you're just going to go here like this. Okay? Keep breathing in. And out. One more breath. And then we come back. I want you to take a little break. So open your knees wider. And just sit on the floor. See how your child, bad legged child pose is looking here. So you can just rest. Catch your breath. When you're on our arms, even though they're only straight and you're not doing any push-ups, you, you still feel a lot of work. And it's quite hard to keep the balance going. So you can always stop and take easier options. Now find the left arm. So you're going to lean onto the left arm, the left and right. Then you get the left leg out, find your balance first. Then you bend your knee. And exhale. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. And maybe try to bend the arm behind you. This is quite hard. And bend the arm back. And up to the chest. And then back. One more time. Now this time we're going to go around to grab the leg and open here. Shoulders back. Belly brace. Keep pushing the foot into your hand. See how far you can go here. Make sure the left arm is holding you. Keep breathing deep. And up deep. Time. Inhale and exhale and come back down. Right leg it. Charles pose again and see if you can just surrender your body a little bit more. You can turn your chin to the side or find your forehead on the floor. Deepen the breath, relax your arms. If you turn the face to the side, you turn, lift it up and turn it the other way and surrender. relax your shoulders here we're doing a lot here so you just have to be careful so I'm just gonna take the pressure off the arms get my left leg forward and then in my lunge here you can have your blocks okay so you can have one or two on top of each other or you use your fingertips if this is hard pushing your knee front knee I'm going to open it out to the side so my toes are facing diagonally away from me and I got my arms here like this so you're going to find the hips pushing down, lift the chest up, breathe. I'm already feeling the front leg on the outer thigh because I've rotated my foot out. And I can just come a little bit lower down. So if you find this is too difficult for you, you just stay on your arms and lift the chest up and look up. This, this is called dragon pose or lizard pose, whatever you know it is. You know this is the lunge. And if you can, lift the back leg, you're keeping the front of the foot and then lifting the knee up so it puts more pressure on the head, on the back, and try to press the front foot. 
so you can feel the spark so your kneecap doesn't hurt here. And then we bring the knee down. Again, just gonna get the right arm and then push the left knee over and look over the left shoulder. As I push my left leg, my foot turns on to the side if I show you from here, so you can see. So you turn the foot to the side and then you're pushing in and open. So you can look over your left shoulder by the side of your foot, relax the neck, keep breathing deeper, in through the nose, out through the nose. Now we're going to just try to change this. Still stay with the hand down, get it closer to your front foot, lift the back leg up and the stomach twist with the leg and the arm here. So the back leg stretches, you got to lift, look up towards the top arm, breathing in, breathing out. So we're getting a little twist here, press the front foot down, if you feel it can go over the leg, that's going to squeeze it, twist a little bit. And just come down and find your body there's the counterbalance here so as you come back to your back leg keep your hip and the knee in line and clench your bum and open the shoulders so you can feel a little bit more different stretch happening and your body's coming back to neutral and you really find the head here this is going to work your back muscles too make sure you don't overdo it yeah breathe in breathe out and look up and then you can see whether you can find this foot, but without forcing your back. So your hips don't come back with you. So it's just the hand, which is quite hard. So you can just stay here, it doesn't matter. Or you can go arms back and try to pull the opposite one leg. Now we're gonna just go lengthen the front leg and flex it forward, forwards with the toes, and then we can come down and hold the arms back. This is quite hard, the balance here, so you can bring your hands down to hold it. Or if you're staying here with me, the shoulders are pretty up, and your core will be challenged a lot more. look up towards the foot and then come back here with the hand and leg try to stay nice and steady and open the chest and push the bum forwards if you can catch the toes here catch the toes here if you can't just stay with the hands where they are okay and counterbalancing opening the chest because then we're gonna go back to on all fours I want you to just come back onto your hands and knees. This is going to be the right arm and left leg. So the left leg is going to lift, okay, behind you. So this is like a twisting type of pose. So you're just going to get the arm thread, the needle, you're going to the side, and then you're going to twist and look up over your left shoulder. And then you come back and lift up, 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 and look to your fingertips, okay? And then come in. I'm going to turn this way so you can see where I'm twisting. So you can go get more understanding if it's the first time you're doing it just stop the video and watch it first and then you go here and twist and look up my core is engaging here so if you can't lift the toe so far you can go onto the floor all right then when you come back find your balance and lift and exhale to come under and inhale and exhale and come under and twist, 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 and hold this one. So then I get my both hands on top of each other. So if you can't keep the foot up, you're gonna keep it down. This is the easier option. Make sure the shoulder is not tensing your neck here. So here I'm gonna open. So as you turn your head, you're gonna lose your balance. So you don't turn your eyes until you feel more balanced. Or keep your foot down to do the arm raises, okay? So be careful here. 
breathe. So your neck is not on tension. You're getting challenged a lot here. So here we are. Then we come back. We're gonna try to get the hands together. Press the palms on top of each other. And hold here in the prayer pose. And then we come down with the leg. Just come back and sit. Sit with the uh, front leg is in the like a swan pose. So you slide your leg back and then your arms still staying here and your arms on top of each other. You might not be able to do it that way. So what you need to do, come out of the pose, get into this and then adjust your hips and then back here. So you're going on the side. You're still feeling that shoulder stretch. You're still feeling the hip on the right leg and you're just surrendering on the floor here breathing deep breathing out deep oh my goodness i said we was gonna do the bridges but i don't think we're gonna have time now because half an hour is very quick <sighs> sorry about that so we'll do that next time so i want to go through all of these poses on the other side first so you can come up now and find a body here just try to see how far you can go you can just Get the chin here and hold or you might be on your hands like this or you put your head down just see the pigeon turning forwards yeah so i'm gonna hold it here find my hips breathing in breathing out and then i'm gonna come up wherever i can come up and try to keep my body nice and tall now from here i'm gonna get my right arm to catch my left foot from the back so if you don't want to do this, you can just do this, okay? So let me just come here a bit more so you can see where it's going from. This is hard on the shoulders, but we've been stretching the shoulders a lot. So hopefully this is going to feel a little bit easier. If it's too much for you, just go here. And taking the hand off the floor will be making it harder. So you can really get the foot, push into the arm, and maybe lift the side. So you can have all these different options, find pair, find the one that suits you best. You might be sitting on your block here, it's okay. Breathe in and breathe out. And then come back. Nice. Then we're just gonna take the body back. I'm gonna turn around because I have to do the other side now. Just stay as you are if you're facing the camera. Let me lift these hips up and find the elbows down, find the head down. So kind of just have a little breather here, tuck the tail up, find your core muscles and stretching the lower back muscles here as well as the chest and the shoulders. Then we're going to come up on all four and then we are now going the other side. So we're going to go right arm holds us, left arm lifting. There we go. So you're going to go left arm underneath you and we're twisting, looking up, 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 up. And then we come back and lift. I think I made a mistake here. So I think we need to go to the dragon first. Is this? No, this is the, this is right. So we're going this one first. No, dragon first. Sorry. My bad. So it's going to be the right thing. <laughs> Something was not right. I'm so sorry about that. So get the right foot forwards. Ah, and then toes turning out. That's it. So you got to push that toes up and you can find the floor and put the elbows down. When I realize the time is running away from me, my mind has got all distracted. So, sorry about that. Press the right heel, lift the chest up, lengthen the back knee, breathe. So you can be on the hands here, remember. You're trying to find the foot pressing down, find the back leg is uh, stretching more. If you can find the front of the foot and lift the knee, Hold it that way, it's great, but if your knee's hurting you too much, you don't have to do that, or you can have the toes still be good. Okay, just find what is best for you. Now, then I'm gonna come on down with the back knee. Get the front hand, left hand near the foot, and the foot comes in a bit more. And then you go turn it to the side and open. Open, open, open. Just create that openness through the hips, chest, shoulders, neck. Breathe. And then we can come down with the knee and the foot and lift the back leg open. 
start with. So the shoulders back to down the head when you feel opening the spine more and more. If you can go across the other foot, you can really get to make it a little bit more tight, but that's going to be harder. Keep breathing deep and out deep. creating that 90 degree angle and open the shoulders back and squeeze your palms and open up and open and press the palms both down chest up deep from the breath if you can come back further come back towards the foot it's not a problem but your lower back should not hurt you the hips back be careful here if you're losing your balance just hold your hands on the floor and come back so you can get the hamstring stretch but if you're okay to get the arms up you'll be super challenged through the core it looks easy these things are not easy You can have your hands to help you there. It's quite tough and challenging. Down the open. And lift the chest up. Clenching your bum. And see whether you can go to your heels. I'm feeling a little iffy on my back. So I'm not going to go so far. Just clenching my bum. Lifting my chin and my chest up. This is quite enough for me right now. My core is super engaged. Then you can come back. And then just sit for a second in the child's pose before we go to the tiger with the two twists on the other side. Nice one. So you're moving up. Now we are doing it. Take two. So you got right arm, left arm, right leg. So you can have your right toes on the floor to do the twist. But the first one you can do with the foot down to see how far you can take this. So you're learning how to get there. Then you can lift the leg to see whether you can balance or not. Then you're going to come onto the arm to balance you. And exhale. Turn and look over your shoulder. So you're getting into those twists again in the shoulder. And inhale and exhale. Exhale. One more time here. And exhale. Now when I just find the foot, so you can have the foot down, remember, I'm up behind my shoulder, my neck is free. So I'm finding the side of my shoulder here and holding on to it. My hands are together and I'm gonna lift my arm. But don't turn your eyes until you find your balance. You can see that I'm shaking on this side because it's a bit more <laughs> challenging because I got my left side on the floor. That's my weaker side. One more time. Good. And then we can bring the palms together here. Like the prayer pass. And I'm holding here. Make sure your shoulder is not lifted towards the ears. And the stretch you're feeling in the shoulder is pleasant. So it's not like you're pulling a nerve. Keep breathing in. Keep breathing out. So you're almost there. Come down into the leg, and then you're gonna help yourself into your pigeon pose. I came up so that I can go forward, so you can see me. So you're keeping the body leaning towards the right, pushing your left hip. So you still have the shoulder on the floor first. You're still opening the shoulder muscles from the hips. 
This is also grounding us now that head is on the floor, body is kind of heaving up onto the gravity. So just try to relax in here. This is the end of our session and then you can come back, adjust your pigeon according to your needs. You can bend your knees here, you can extend the arms. I'm going to go back to this one again. Keep breathing deep and out deep. You can hold a little longer and then you're going to see whether you can bend the back knee and then grab it with the opposite arm. This is quite tight so if you need you can't do that you can take the same side arm push the foot into the hand let's see whether you can lift the other arm so this is why we did on the other side just find what suits you you can have the hand down on the floor to help you but keep pushing that foot in the arms you're feeling the shoulder stretching okay Bring the legs across here and then see that you can find a comfortable position. Just move your body, move your chest in a lot, leg go back, mobilize a bit more. Inhale and exhale. Stay in the nice and tall position. Look over your right shoulder and your left shoulder and look up. And look down. Now take your hands up, join your palms together, bring your hands to your face, and stay on the third eye. You can just rub it up and down, then bring it to your chin. See whether you can massage your face here, give yourself a little rub, and bring your hands to your chest. Namaste everybody. I hope you like it. Just give yourself a tap on the shoulder here. This is great. Keep going. Yes, you're almost there. Take care.